keeping my heart rate in check if you guys you can see. Hi guys, welcome to uh, the finale of Game of Thrones episode 10 season 3. Um, Misa? Misa? Uh, I'm not sure what Misa is. Um, but uh, I, I had a hard time continuing. I was going to actually watch episode 10 right after the previous episode and it was not worth it for the time. Um, apologies for not having any outro at that for that episode. Um, two things. It was a, an actual shock to watch it. And second, my heart rate went up very high. So my watch told me to calm down. Like, this is really legit. It, I, I swear, I did not expect um, my heart rate to go up that high. I was in actual shock. Like, my hands were trembling just watching it. And I know that can be like an overreaction to just a to to a show, but I don't know. It just seemed so real, you know. Like even though we've seen the violence up until um, up until well, episode eight at least. I think this ep that episode really got me more with the way that they were not murdered but literally butchered like they it looked like they were ready to tear them apart and with the way they killed Talissa like honestly at the time I my mind was not even able to comprehend what was happening but now that I think about it, I just can't believe the way they killed her off, like stabbing her in her belly, pregnant, multiple times. I don't even know how many times she got stabbed. And I, I, I then immediately, once I calmed down and everything, my mind went to thinking, what would I, what would it have been like for women who were fans of uh, who are still uh, fans of Game of Thrones to have watched it possibly when they were pregnant? I, th that's the first thing that entered my mind, like the brutality of of that scene was beyond comprehension, and the way Rob was killed and you know and the way his mom knew that he was going to die then when she saw him gone and her scream is still in my ear like god and then they killed her off like i you know i'm not even going to talk about anything other than the fact that i had so much hopes for them actually making it back to winterfell i I even remember talking about how Rob may just end up, you know, finding Khaleesi and working with her so that, you know, her armies, they can get rid of Tywin and, well, the Lannisters essentially, and then Stannis Baratheon and they can, you know, they can go back to the North and she can rule the entire, se like, Seven Kingdoms and whatnot. Just me thinking about all of that, I just can't believe that, you know, they went to a wedding. I, I, and they were just slaughtered. I even didn't, you know, I, I did, once I, once again, again, once I calmed down, I realized it was Roose Bolton who killed, who finished off Rob. And I can't believe it because that's what it got me thinking that why was it that he's released Jamie to King's Landing? Why would he ever do that when his orders were to bring back 
Jamie back to Rob Stark. Like, why would he ever think of... Now I know why. He made a pact with the Freys. The Freys were not... Or like they they have proper vendetta against against Rob not marrying one of his daughters, and that means proper bloodshed, like slaughter. I and you know the thing is that as soon as they played the the tune of Reigns of Castamere and immediately she like i remember i remember seeing kathleen just like what is going on like she even had her suspicions why are they playing reigns of castamere not only at a wedding but in the north and she could feel that she her heart i guess her heart rate went up so high that mine also went up and I just yeah I'm sorry this was this is a long intro but I just thought that I should mention those points up but I uh, it was hard to watch I think um I mean I saw the ratings of how much it got and it got 9.9 .9 and IMDb I guess if people enjoy violence that much, but yeah, I mean, in terms of acting, 100% great job, that's no doubt, but in terms of taking in the, the other bit of it, oh God, I think uh, if I talk more about it, I just might it might put me off watching Game of Thrones for a while, so I'm going to continue on to episode 10 pretty sure we are going to see again another aftermath of episode 9 um, and see what exactly people will f see like how John will find out how um, ugh, Bran will find out Rickon Sansa, Arya oh and Arya was just there you know when she was having a conversation with the hound and hound said that you are afraid that you are so cl close but you may not make it if that wasn't a vision from the like you know warning us and at least me in advance saying that something may happen i i did not even expect anything to happen but then again yes i keep my expectations low in terms of um, you know the way that got is known to be so violent but i just never imagined it to be at this level it was brutal to watch yeah i had to stop recording after watching that but let's see what the aftermath is here is episode 10 of season 3. Um, I'm pretty sure we will find out what the title means. I I feel like it's... Uh, me, Misa, Misa. It's either Misa or Misa. I, I, maybe my pronunciation is wrong, but I, I, at first I said Misa. Then I thought about the slang and it could be Misa. But yeah, let's see what it is. Um, here we go. Man, a demon monkey, an imp. You're a Lannister. 
I am the disgraced daughter of the traitor Ned Stark. I could speak to Lord Varys and learn the perversions. Anyone named Desmond Craycall must be a pervert. Mm -hmm. I hear that you're a pervert. I am the imp. I have certain standards to maintain. <laughs> we could sheep shift Lord Desmond's bed. You cut a little hole in his mattress and you stuff sheep down inside. Then you sew up the hole and make his bed again. His room will stink, but he won't know where it's coming from. My lady. Well, you asked me. My lord, my lady, your father has called a meeting of the small council. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to get to this. Roslyn caught a fine fat trout. Her brothers gave her a pair of wolf pelts for her wedding. Signed, Walder Frey. Rob Stark is dead. <laughs> and his bitch mother. Write back to Lord Frey. Thank him for his service and command him to send Rob Stark's head. I'm going to serve it to Sansa at my wedding feast. Your Grace, Has he actually Lady lost Sansa his is your blood? aunt by marriage. A joke? Joffrey did not mean it. Yes, I did. I'm going to have it served to Sansa at my wedding feast. She is no longer yours to torment. Everyone is mine to torment. You do well to remember that, you little monster. Oh, a monster. Perhaps you should speak to me more softly then. Monsters are dangerous, and just now, kings are dying like flies. Tyrion, you are my calming factor, you know that? Disrespectful and in very bad taste. I am the king! I will punish you. Any man who must say I am the king is no true king. I'll make sure you understand that when I've won your war for you. My father won the real war. He killed Prince Rhaegar. He took the crown while you hid on a castle rock! Disrespectful. The king is tired. See him to his chambers. I'm not tired! Come. See my heart rate in check if you guys You just sent the most powerful man in Westeros to bed without his supper. You're a fool if you believe he's the most powerful man in Westeros. A treasonous statement. Joffrey is king. I lost a battle. And you defeated him all the same. All the fray gets all the credit. All the blame, I suppose, depending on your allegiance. I should have known it was Tywin. Otherwise, why would he have... many things. Do you disapprove? I'm off for cheating. Do you want this me to war. answer that? But to slaughter them at a wedding. Explain to me why it is more noble to kill 10,000 men in battle than a dozen at dinner. So that's why you did it. <laughs> I'm in this world a little while longer. To defend the Lannisters, to defend my blood. The Northerners will never forget. Good. And remember what happens when they march on the south. Roose Bolton will be named Warden of the North. Until your son by Sansa comes of age. You think Sansa will be willing to participate in this bullshit? Do you think she'll open her legs for me? After I tell her how he murdered her mother and brother? One way or another, you will get that girl pregnant. Will not rape her. A good man does everything in his power to better his family's position, regardless of his own selfish desires. Easy for you to preach utter devotion to family when you're making all the decisions. When have you ever done something that wasn't in your interest, but solely for the benefit of the family? The day that you were born. I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. Instead, I let you live. And I brought you up as my son. Because you're a Lannister. I think today I'll just be more angry than anything. Sansa. about this place. Have you ever heard about the rat cut? No? Who's he? 
was the cook in the night's watch. The cook killed the king's son, cooked him into a big pie with onions, carrots, mushrooms, and bacon. That night, he served the pie to the king. He liked the taste of his son so much, he asked for a second slice. The gods turned the cook into a giant white rat what? who could only eat his own young. He's been roaming the night fort ever since. If the gods turned every killer into a giant white it rat. It wasn't for murder the gods cursed the rat cook or for serving the king's son in a pie. He killed a guest beneath his roof. That's something the gods can't forgive. Walder Frey. The late Walder oh, Frey. Forgive. Oh, Tully called me because I didn't get my men to the Tridents in time for battle. I forward to that he day. thought he was witty. Look at us now, Tully. Your daughter's dead, your grandson's dead, your son spends his wedding night in a dungeon, and I'm Lord of River Run. <laughs> the Blackfish escaped. Ooh. They all laughed at me. All those high lords, they all thought they were better than me. People snigger when I marry a young girl, but who said a word when John Arryn married a little Tully bitch? Must have been torture following that stupid boy all over the country. He ignored my advice at every turn. If he'd been a trifle less arrogant. Call himself the Young Wolf. How's that for pomposity? Here's to the Young Wolf! Oh! Forever young. <laughs> Will you move to Winterfell now that the war's over? At some point, perhaps. But Winterfell's in ruins. I sent my bastard Ramsay to root him out. Rob Stark offered amnesty for the Ironborn if they gave us Theon. And? Ramsay delivered the terms. The Ironborn turned on Theon, as we knew they would. But Ramsay... Well... Ramsay has his own way of doing things. Fucking hell, this guy oh, is a son. You had a good-sized cock. Well... Yeah... Pork sausage. You think I'm some sort of savage? Do you, Max? A phantom cop. Next time you think about naked girls, when you feel an itch, I shouldn't make jokes. My mother taught me not to throw stones at cripples. <laughs> but my father taught me to aim for their head. Kill me! You're no good to me, dead. We need you. You don't look like a Theon Greyjoy anymore. That's a name for Lord. But you're not a Lord. I... You reek. Reek! That's a good name for you. What's your name? Theon Greyjoy. Theon Greyjoy. Like my pen is refusing to write so working. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. Ghost! Oh, I thought I was ghost. I'm so white. Uh, Sam! Don't oh, kill me! Who are you? Sam! Sam! Who are you? Gilly, don't hurt us. Sam! Sam! Where Sam! are you going? Run! 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 Yes! Yes, Sam! You're John's brother. The one who fell from the window. No, I'm not. I've been round ghost enough to know a dire from a single. I'd be dead if it wasn't for John. If you're his brother, you're my brother too. And anything I can do to help you, I will. Take us north of the wall. Thank God. Oh, how I wish Rickon was with you right now. How did you get through the wall? Does the well lead to an underground river? Is that how you came here? Come with us. There are steps carved into the south side of the wall. Hodor can carry you to the top. We'll walk straight to Castle Black. If John is alive, then Castle Black's where he'll be. It's the safest place for you. There's nowhere safe any longer. You know that. What I know is what I saw. And if you saw it too, you'd run the other way. You saw the White Walkers and the army of the dead. How do you know that? The Night's Watch can't stop them. Kings of Westeros and all their armies can't stop them. 
then what can he killed one that that thing can, that obsidian can lord of the iron islands and invader of the north i give you until the full moon to order all ironborn scum out of the north and back to those shit-stained rocks you call a home i will hunt down every islander still in our lands oh and is that what i think it living. is the way I flayed the twenty ironborn scum I found at Winterfell. Theon's favorite toy. No, God. He cried when I took it away from him. Leave the North now, or more boxes will follow with more Theon. Signed, Ramsay Snow, natural born son of Roose Bolton, Lord of the Dreadfort, and Warden of the North. Theon disobeyed my orders. Wow. He took Winterfell for The boy is a fool. He cannot further the Greyjoy line. He's not a man anymore. He's your son. He's my brother. He's a Greyjoy. Watch yourself. Watch herself? I've made my decision. I'm going to pick the fastest ship in our fleet. I'm going to choose the 50 best killers on the Iron Islands. I'm going to find my little brother, and I'm going to bring him home. Dragon glass. We found them at the fist. Someone buried them a long time ago. Someone wanted us to find them, killing white walkers. How do you know that? The walker came for my baby. But no one's killed a white walker in thousands of years. Well, I suppose someone had to be the first. Well done, Sam. Thank it, Hodor. I got lucky with one of them and for every one of them the dead men more than you could count okay so they are different dead men are different I wish you'd come with us yeah, I seriously hope that you I wish I could I really do I just realized Stannis put three leeches in the fire and uttered Rob right. Stark. And now Never he's met. dead. It was just a bit of blood. I should have known. He was born on Flea Bottom, just like you. Sure, you were. You're my friend. You're here to help. You live below the street of flower. How far below? How close to the Red Keep were you? The shit that poured from their privy pipes flowed down the side of Egon's Hill, along Tanner's Road, and right in front of my front door, on Jane Alley. If you mistrust fancy people so much, why were you in such a hurry to trust her? Never talk to a woman, really. And then she comes at you. Big words, no clothes. What would you have done? Many years ago, I helped King Stannis yeah, right. a difficult situation. He rewarded me with a lordship. And this. I bones. I did it for my son. I didn't want him to step over a river of shit every time he stepped through his front door. I wanted him to have a better life. Does he? He's dead. How'd he die? Following me. You've been a good influence on our mutual friend, you know. He used to drink from sundown to sunup, visit three brothels a night, gamble away his father's money. Now it's just the drinking. I brush her hair and clip her nails and empty her chamber pot. She is a sweet young thing. None of this is her fault. I love that girl. I would kill for her. Do you think that makes it easier for me? No, I expect not. If you let yourself believe that a foreign girl with no name could spend her life with the son of Tywin Lannister. I have a name. You have one name. Here, only the family name matters. Get on one of those ships. Sail to Pentos, or Lys, or Mir. You can buy a house with these diamonds. A very large house. Start a new life, a good life, far from here. Tyrion Lannister is one of the few people alive who can make this country a better place. He has the mind for it, he has the will, he has the right last name, and you... You are a complication. I'm asking you to leave because your presence in the capital 
endangers him. Lord Ferris. If he wants me to leave, he can tell me himself. 